I was actually driving from, from my house. I was driving um, to, to the office, right? Because I got to shoot some content today. And I was thinking, man, what kind of content should I shoot? And, and uh, I think that a lot of people, they're, they're literally not awake. We are in 2018, okay? It's the era, I don't even know how to spell it, don't judge me on that, the era of the internet. And to me, yeah, it's actually the biggest opportunity for anyone, any entrepreneur, because obviously you have to have the mindset of entrepreneurship if you wanna do your own business online, whatever it is, okay? I give you a little bit of my background for those who don't know. Um, I started 2015, Okay, I had a regular job. So I was making, I don't know, 3,000 to a good man, $5,000 a month, okay? But I, I was always working, and I had obviously a middleman, the chief, right? And then the chief had another middleman, okay? And then the big boss sitting behind the desk, okay? Collecting the money. So it's like a change, you know what I'm saying? It's like a change going down, always. So what happened is like you're an employee of an employee of an employee of an employee. And at the end of the day, you're making some money, you're living, you're making a living, but you're miserable. You are literally miserable. So in 2015, I started Googling how to make money on the internet because I saw a bunch of people making money on the internet. And at the beginning, obviously, everybody think it's a scam because our grandparents and even our parents, they were not exposed to the internet, okay? I got to see what it was the internet. I don't know if you guys remember. You, you connecting to the internet was uh, like a two minute wait. The, the, the freaking fax noise and all that shit with a wire to the wall, you know what I'm saying? It's like back in the day, maybe this was 90 something, like 97 or I don't know. Back in where I'm from, in Uruguay. Okay? First of all, I didn't even have a computer. So in order to use internet, you have to go to some, someone's house who is lucky enough to have a computer. And back then, everybody thought the internet was a scam, nobody believed in it, blah, 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 blah. And then the internet skyrocketed, okay? The freaking internet skyrocketed. Okay, look at us now. Then, Back in 15, it's when uh, the mobile phone number, okay, phones took off as well. Because if you remember, back in 2000, the phones we had was the flip, uh, not even the flip phone. Do you guys remember the, the freaking, the freaking, um, the Motorola, the one that uh, the commercial was sick, the Razer? That was actually in 2004, I believe, right? And that's when we start using internet on the phones, if I'm not mistaken. We didn't even have a screen like we have right now with a freaking iPhone. And then the, uh, when I start Googling how to make money online in 2015, uh, I, I watched a lot of content about how phones right now, look, I'm streaming to you guys for free. And right now I have on the line 26 people, you guys are commenting, we're interacting with each other, I'm giving you value, right? So this back in the day was not even possible, impossible. So anyone right now, okay, anyone who has a passion for something can literally go online for free, create a Facebook group or an Instagram group and start talking about the topic they, they like, okay? And later on start monetizing it, okay? By sharing value, okay? That's how you make money. First of all, so when I Google how to make money online, we have different ways to make money online, okay? You, you can sell physical products, which is what I actually did, okay? I'll show you right now. Let me just erase this real quick. You can actually share, um, start selling, okay? Selling physical products. 
I don't even know how to spell it, but anyway. So that was, that was one way. The other way was like selling uh, info products. The other way is like generating leads, which is emails, for those who don't know, for other companies. And the circle goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, okay? But the crazy thing about this, this is, by the way, is e-commerce, is what I do, what would I teach, what my students do. This is something else that I do. Uh, I call this affiliate marketing, okay? And I do this as well, which is like selling info product. It's like owning your own product, okay? And this is 100% this is digital, no cost whatsoever, okay? So I'll, I'll show you the, the, the walk around. So I started here, and then I quickly realized, okay, let me get my water one second, guys. And then I quickly realized that when you do e-commerce and you sell physical products online, or you do lead generation, or you sell physical products, everything's tied up to the same thing, which is like learning how to advertise. Okay? So the main, the huge, the biggest asset, let me just flip the phone so you guys don't miss this, for the people who are live, okay? The biggest asset you can ever, or the biggest investment you can ever do, okay, let me just, put the cell phone there. The biggest investment you can do, it's learn how to advertise, okay? The platforms we use, guys, is obviously Facebook and IG, which is Instagram, okay? Or you can use Google, but I don't use Google as much. Facebook and Instagram. So when I realized, oh shit, so the, all these things we can do, okay? I know there's so many different avenues that you can monetize. But if I learn how to advertise, Okay, and then I choose my vehicle, which the, 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 the easiest vehicle for me when I started e-commerce was first to get involved in lead generation. Why? Because it's cheaper to get results. And let me explain you this. When you sell a physical product online, okay, let's say the product is 29 bucks. You have to sell the product to someone. So to me it was like, it's a little bit difficult to me to sell that if I don't know how to advertise. So I started generating leads, okay? Generating leads is easy. It's like, for example, if you're interested in this type of business or if you're looking for a house, click on the link below, give me your email and I send you more information about the house. If you're looking for a house and I send information about the house, in exchange, I collect an email. For that email, some companies give you some money, $4, $2, $3. So, what happened is like when you start doing advertising that you have no clue, it's easy to generate leads before you jump into e-commerce. So that's what I did. Then, since I learned all about how to do advertising on Facebook by generating leads, then I jumped into e-commerce, and this was in 2000, 2016 when I blow the shit up. 2016, okay? So when you sell physical products, I did that. I did, I don't know, like, Till to today, probably $13 million or more. I, I lost counting already. But it's incredible because once you do that, then it's easy to go here to start selling your digital own product, which is like literally, it's like putting the knowledge you know, packaging it up digital in a platform that you host online, and then people buy it and acquire the knowledge and they do the same. And this, this, the results are like amazing, okay? Because now you have people that are changing their lives, literally, okay? You are literally now impacting other people's life by passing down the knowledge that you learn from all the stuff. So this is what I'm saying, look, it, it, it doesn't take, uh, like, it's, it's not rocket science, okay? I did it, I didn't even know how to speak English. So this is the crazy part. This is what I, I, I wanna like push people to and like kinda like, wake people up that you guys need to learn how to advertise, to do whatever you wanna do, whether it's music, 
whether it's like selling your own physical products, it's selling your services. If you are in real estate, you can literally advertise, cut the middleman. You know what I'm saying? Generate your own leads, make more money. There's so many avenues by utilizing the internet. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't realize, okay, that the internet is not just to like waste your time and scroll down on your newsfeed because the phones, let me go to the phones right now, okay? The phone is where 98% of the traffic is at right now. It's unbelievable, okay? When I started in 2015, I saw a webinar and these people were talking about how mobile traffic was gonna be the hottest traffic source in the upcoming years. And, and, I was, and, I, and I'm looking back and I'm like, bro, that's crazy. It's like, it's like experiencing everything. Like, I grew up with a black and white TV. Uh, like the TV was black and white, only two channels, like clack, clack, that's it. You have freaking like, like, uh, like uh, ants that you gotta move in order to see the channel. Right now you have literally, you can stream TV in your phone. It's ridiculous the way like technology has advanced on your phone and people are not taking advantage of it, you know? A lot of people go to work, like I say, you have a middleman, you have a boss, you get stuck in traffic, or a lot of people pay like $65,000 to go to college to learn, okay, to learn outdated, I don't even know how to spell it, don't judge me, to learn outdated information that when you finish college and you go out to the streets, and you try to get a job, it's nearly impossible. And then you spend years, okay, stuck in traffic, and then you, what do you got? What you got is debt, okay? That's what you got. You got debt, you own already $65,000, plus all the money you spend going to college, plus all the years you wasted, I don't know, how many years is this? Three, four, five, I don't know, you tell me. I'm not from here, <laughs> okay? I didn't even, I, I dropped off college. I, knew, I, I didn't even finish college. So what I'm saying is this. If you invest a fraction of that money, okay, in acquiring the knowledge on how to advertise, that in my case, how much, is, I spent $2,000, I remember it. $2,000 that I invested in a mentorship. After burning in my own, because I didn't have the mindset, that you gotta follow a mentor after burning by, I was like, why well, am I gonna spend money in someone else teaching me if I can grab the money and learn by myself, right? That was the mentality. So I burned $17,000 on credit cards, money that was not even mine. Then I decided when I was like literally up down on, on like up to my last $2,000, I said, you know what? Let's sell some of my stuff. So I sell some of my, my studio recording stuff. I invested in a mentorship. I follow the directions of one guy because that is the main problem. People want to make money online and all they're doing, I did it myself, is chasing the giant objects. There are so many avenues. It's like you are going through Facebook and you start following people who are getting results and you get distracted by the screenshots. And then you feel like, oh shit, I should follow this guy. This guy is doing big numbers, let me follow him. And then, oh shit, look at this guy, he's making bigger numbers, let me follow this guy now. So all you're doing is like literally going, you are right here, okay? and you have all these different avenues and you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, okay? Because now you see all these different people making money and all you're doing is you go here, then you go back, then you go here, then you go back, then you go here. It makes sense? So the, 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 one of the things you gotta do, guys, is focus, okay? And you can be doing e-commerce right now, you can be even thinking, just lightly thinking about, maybe it's time for me to open my online business. Guys, it doesn't take too much money, look at this. $65,000 to go to college, to learn outdated information that is not guaranteeing you, not even making the money back that you invested or invest. Okay, this, is, this is, could be 500 bucks to 10 grand, okay? But take a look at this and the outcome of this, okay? For what I see of students that I have, I can say that people make, as an average, $100,000 on the first year to $1 million. Because I have students that are making 200, 100,000, 150, 300,000 a month. How much you keep from this money? 20% to 35%. So imagine, okay, acquiring the knowledge of advertising, start doing something online, which is like your own e-commerce stores in this case, 
that is, I think is the lowest hanging fruit. And then once you learn e-commerce, you can diverse and do a lot of, a lot of things. So you can have your own agency, now you can advertise for other people, you can generate leads, you can sell properties online, you can do so many things, do it online, so many things, okay? That this is, this is actually what I wanna stress out and, and, and show you, okay? And open your eyes and mind because a lot of people are, are like following me, a lot of people follow a bunch of people that make money online. They wanna make money online, but they're here, okay? They're here because they have a daily job, they're stressed out from fucking traffic and going to work, doing something that they do not like, and when they try to do something with the little time they have, they're, they're here, they're all over the place. So what you have to do is, guys, is focus on one thing, okay? If you focus on one thing, and I wanna tell you this tip, this is gonna add value to, to, to you right now. Let me just share this with you, okay? It's one of the number one mistakes I made when I started. Okay, the keyword is called focus. If you focus, because you can be right now depressed, right now you can be stressed the fuck out, you can have no money, you can have debt, you can, whatever you want, I've been there, done that, okay? I know what it is to not have money to pay the rent. I know what it is to get my wife to get student loans to actually cover the rent, not knowing how the fuck I was gonna pay the rent the next month. I know what it is to pound my stuff, sell my stuff. So why? Because I was not focusing on, okay? I was on a vibration of my entire body, okay? That's what we are. When you feel great, you feel great. Everything is amazing. When you feel bad, everything is shit. So if you focus, and you dedicate at least one or two hours of your day, completely blind horses like that, focusing on what you want to do, and you gotta take it one day at a time, okay? One day at a time, and you put one or two hours focusing to what you're trying to do, which is, if it's e-commerce or in general, okay? Advertising. All you gotta do, guys, every single day, is try to learn something new every single day. And I promise you, the result will show, okay? Because as long as you dedicate one or two hours a day into learning something that is gonna get you to the goal, okay? Which the initial goal for me was freedom, okay? And what is freedom? I mean, uh, the, first, the first thing I say is like, replace my, my salary, okay? So that was my first goal. I want to have freedom. Why? Because I don't want to get stuck in traffic. I don't want to go to work every single day. I don't want to wake up every single day not wanting to go to, to the fucking job, okay? Because I hated it. So the first thing I want to do was like replace my salary. What it was at the time was like, if I can only replace my $5,000 salary, I'll be set. And then you go from there, you go up and up and up and up. So all you have to do is focus because if you focus, and you dedicate one or two hours a day, okay, you gotta make a sacrifice, stop watching the freaking TV and uh, like some of those shows that people waste their time on it, okay? Just focus, lock yourself up with something that you can follow step by step and learn advertising and then start dedicating one or two hours every single day. I guarantee you that right now everybody has one or two hours to dedicate yourself. Even if you're doing it right now and you're struggling, it's because you're not focusing. You are all over the place, okay? I've been there. You are all over the place. Sorry guys, I'm, I keep looking back and forth, back and forth. I'll, I'll do a Q and A in, in just a little bit, but I just wanna share this with you guys because a lot of people who are not successful or they feel that they're not getting the results they're looking for is because they're not focused. And this is the main goal, okay? How can I focus every single day and something, something productive that is gonna give me the 80% of the results? And that's why I came out last year with the phrase, the 80-20 rule, okay? What is that, guys? How can I do 20% that is gonna produce the 80% of the results? Once you focus on this, and you say, okay, today, what I have today in agenda, okay. What's gonna make me the most money today by investing the less amount of time? In any type of business you do, that's what you gotta discover. And once you find that, it's the same thing with learning. What I'm gonna learn today the most 
what is the most that I can learn today in just by implementing 20% of the time, but it's gonna give me the 80% of the results back. I give you an example. If you start doing e-commerce, okay, it is important to learn everything about the store, but just setting up a store and learning and doing it could be tedious. So you can literally delegate, okay, that task. Because guess what? Setting up the store, which you can do it in a couple hours, you're not gonna do it every single day. You only have to do it once. Once the store is ready, it's ready. So you can delegate the store by hiring a VA or a virtual assistant in a website like, like um, um, that you hire uh, people from Philippines, online jobs that PH, okay? And guys, you can use this even if you're not doing e-commerce, even if you're not drop shipping, even if you're not doing another side. Let, let, let's say you, uh, you, have a, you have a job and it's on accounting or whatever it might be, and there's, there has to be something in your job, it's gonna have some, you're gonna have something that you can literally delegate to someone else. And by delegating, all you're doing is like incrementing the 20%, okay? That's what you need to focus. So for example, in the entire store, I give you an idea, I did not do this because I didn't know about this. I didn't understand about the 80-20 rule, okay? And the most successful people, that's what they do, is they, they focus on the 20% that is gonna bring in the 80% of the results. And it's not easy because sometimes I find myself not knowing what the fuck to do because I'm like, okay, what I'm gonna do today? And that is because you don't have a task. So that's another thing, write down your daily task, focusing around the 20%. Okay, so guys, I don't wanna drag it too long on this video. This is just one of the first videos that I wanna do for people who are actually there, thinking on the idea on how, to, you know, like trying to get an online business. And I'm telling you right now, 2018 is the biggest opportunity of your life. If you're not taking advantage of this opportunity and you are not having the success you want by utilizing the internet, I don't know what to tell you, man. Maybe that is because you're not just focusing on one thing. So guys, I leave you with that on this video for YouTube and I see you again soon. Just uh, click on the button if you wanna subscribe for more upcoming videos just like this. They might help you, might not. That's my goal, just help you out, all right.